What's going on guys, it's Face Imp here, and today I'm going to be going over all of my MW3 settings, that is, my graphic settings, my controller settings, my audio settings, and then some of the telemetry, which isn't as important, but there's still some some stuff in there with the interface that is important, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first up, we have the controller category, and we're going to just go through these three sections separately, so the only thing you really need to change in this first one is to turn your vibration off. And um, me, I don't really play flipped or anything, so I don't necessarily need to change them. But if you play flipped, you want to throw this on. If you use one of these, you want to throw that on. Um, but the most important thing here are the dead zones. Um, for me, right away, you want to go down to the triggers. You want to throw them all the way down to zero. Um, I actually don't know why these maxes are like this. I think I fucking set out set them to this, but anyways. Uh, it's really all about the minimums. Maximums, you probably leave a 99. Uh, I honestly don't know what the maximums do too much. But minimums, it's like the least amount of pressure to put on your stake to make a move. And you want to put it as low as possible so that you're not really getting stake drift. Um, so for me, like my left stick, I, I move it around. Like there's maybe a negative one there somewhere. But there's not much. Like you see how it kind of stays there? That's like stake drift, kind of. Um, right is kind of the same uh, You don't really want there to be any drift and so mine basically stays at zero and that's kind of what you want to do with these minimums um, You want to start at zero and Look mine's zero and look at my left stick. It stays Negative three negative two negative Two two like it stays there. So I'll be my character will still be moving down left right now um, Move it up one It helps it a little bit but there's still some areas that have some stickiness to it. So you start up one more time. And for me, left stick isn't as important as right. So I don't really necessarily go until it's zero. Uh, whereas I do with the right stick. And I mean, you know, I would at most I would have it like one, like negative one. I wouldn't have it any more than that. Because then it would probably be too much. But... That's just me. I know a lot of people play with stick drift and they're kind of used to it, but personally, I don't like playing with it. Next up, we have the aiming category of the controller. And so to start it off, I play on 7-7 seven, seven cents. Uh, I recommend 7-7 seven, seven or 6-6, six, six, either of the two. Uh, you want to have a 1-0 a multiplier, I'm pretty sure. You don't really, you can probably go down and change it like a little bit if that's your gimmick. But uh, at least for me, I haven't really done it since BO4, but it, it kind of feels weird nowadays with how the time the kill is and how the gunfights kind of are. Uh, the next the important thing you want to change is aim response curve type. Uh, you try to switch this to dynamic. A lot of people, most people probably use dynamic. And if you don't, you probably use standard, but it's going to be one of those two if you are going to be using it. Uh, you don't really need to change any of this. You want your target aim assist on, of course. Um, some people play with black ops aim assist. I don't. Um, this is really one of the only other things you've changed in this section is going to black ops You don't really want to be using either of these two And then I think that's about it in this section I know some people were changing this FOV sensitivity scaling thing, but I don't know if that necessarily does anything I mean, I'll turn it off sure, but I don't really think that does much You know turn it off if it makes you feel more comfortable and then last but not least of the controller settings We got the gameplay section um, and this is where a lot of the small little minute things are gonna be um you know, if you're not playing competitive, I'd recommend going on automatic tactical sprint. This is so you run forward, double sprinting, uh, by just moving your stick forward. Uh, as a comp player, I have it off because, I mean, it's just not really... You really want to change any of this. You want to change the ground on mantle off. You want to keep this partial. You want to make sure this is off. Uh, this slide dive behavior is probably one of the bigger ones that you want to change. Uh, because... This adds, if you have it to tap the slide and you're still diving, this adds a little bit of delay with your slide. So having it slide only really makes it just that much faster. Besides that, I can't really think of anything you want to change here uh, that would completely change your gameplay. Starting off with the first section of the display, uh, I play on full screen borderless. I know people say the full screen exclusive might be better, but I don't really feel a difference. All this you want to pretty much keep the same want to make sure your NVIDIA reflex is on plus boost if it could be, if it can be. Um, V-Sync you want off. I have my frame limit on, on unlimited, but you could definitely limit it if you feel like it's doing stuff to your PC when you're tabbed out. And 
I'd recommend your gameplay be no more than 240 hertz or 240 frames. This will, I guess it would be whatever your monitor would be. So I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I have it not really that much more than that. You want to have your resolution at 100. You want to have this dy dynamic resolution off. Upscaling, you want to have Fidelity Cast on 100. Um, I don't know if this changes anything, but I always put my VRAM to like to the highest so that I guess it can use as much as... I don't know, as much as it wants, I guess. I guess it really doesn't change much, but uh, I just like dedicating more VRAM to the game, I guess. Um, now for the important things of the textures, you want to have your texture resolution on normal. And for the most part, you want to just have everything on lower off. So this is low, depth of field off, definitely. All these are low. All these just cause more frames, like lossages and just things you don't necessarily need. So you want to have all these off. On-demand texture streaming off. This I don't even know if you still need this off. We had this off uh, a year or two ago because it used to cause game crashes. Uh, so we've had that off ever since. But um, everything still. I can probably have this on low, not very low. You know, really give it that much more of an oomph. As you know, as you see, everything is lower off near min. And yeah, there's no really rhyme or reason. It's just just save frames. Uh, uh, you know. Competitive, you don't really care about how the game looks, you just want to perform the best, so. Well, and now last for view, um, this is where a lot of the, like, HUD-based things are, your FOV, motion blur, like, things like that, so. Um, I play on 100 FOV. I know a lot of people play 100 or, like, 105. Any of those are fine for the most part. I feel like anything under, like, 95, you're kind of trolling. So I'd recommend staying above that range. I play Affected. Um, I've never played independent, so I don't really know what the difference is, to be honest. But effective for me is the best because I've always heard it's better for subs. Weapon filter view, I use wide. Um, I think it just, just makes it look different. I don't necessarily think it means too much, but I think uh, the sub, with it being small and whatnot, makes it just look a little bit better. You don't really have to care about 3P stuff. Uh, you want to make sure you have all the motion blurs off, the film grams off. All the camera movement down at the bottom so that your screen isn't shaking uncontrollably. And yeah, that's it for graphic settings. I mean, there wasn't really too much in there that needed to be said. I feel like everything is just low or off. And yeah, last but not least, go into audio with a little bit of interface. All right, so starting at the top, we got headphone bass boost. Uh, so master, I feel like this game's kind of loud. So I play around like 20 to 30 whenever I do actually play. Um... And then the rest of my stuff I kind of tweak. I don't really have my music on. I haven't for cinematics just because of some of the cutscenes and stuff. Effects you want to have the highest for like footsteps and whatnot. Dialogue for like call outs or just like random random stuff you hear during the game that announcer said. So for interface, uh, you're really just going to want to change color customization. I do this in every game. You want to put color filter 2, both, and make sure both these are on 100. It just makes the game have more vibrancy. It makes it look better in my opinion. Uh, you can put whatever colors you want for this. I change them to the more vibrant colors. Uh, like the more vibrant red, the more vibrant blue. But you don't necessarily need to. Crosshairs, I have crosshairs off, center dot on, compass off, because the compass gets in the way, kind of. Yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for the settings. Um, honestly, I could have went through the graphics settings a little bit more, probably, but there really isn't much I could say that I would know. So I just throw everything low, you know, get some wetter performance. You guys probably want it that way too. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like on it. Make sure you sub to the channel if you're new here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.